the uh, difference between differentiated thyroid cancer and undifferentiated cancer is basically that in differentiated cancer, the cancer cells have retained uh, many properties of normal thyroid cells. And the most important property is uptake of iodide, whereas in undifferentiated thyroid cancer, uh, cancer cells uh, have lost most of the properties of normal thyroid cells. However, the difference is not very strict because it's a spectrum of uh, uh, phenotypes ranging fr from a differentiated thyroid cancer with uh, modest aggressive behavior to undifferentiated thyroid cancer with very aggressive behavior. So in fact, it's a spectrum. Speaking about risks of thyroid cancer, uh, there are basically a couple of factors. Uh, environmental factors, the most important one is external irradiation. So subjects who have received external irradiation for medical treatments uh, in the neck area are at increased risk for developing thyroid cancer. Also environmental factors like pollution with radioactive substances contributes to the risk of thyroid cancer. There are endogenous uh, factors. Uh, a very important factor is genetic factors. Although the prevalence of family thyroid cancer is very low, there are conditions in which certain families are affected by uh, thyroid cancer. And um, so in most cases, uh, thyroid cancer occurs sporadically uh, without a well-known uh, cause. So speaking about uh, prognosis of thyroid cancer, there are many factors involved. And uh, in recent years, we have understood that uh, many of those factors are related to genetic um, uh, events taking place in thyroid cancer. But if we speak about undifferentiated thyroid cancer, very aggressive thyroid cancer that does not take up iodide anymore, that has a rapid progression rate, uh, that tends to metastasize, uh, then the risk for uh, dying of thyroid cancer is increased, whereas in differentiated thyroid cancer, as long as the tumor can be treated with radioactive iodide and doesn't grow that fast, uh, the risk of dying from thyroid cancer is very, very uh, minimal. Most patients who are diagnosed with thyroid cancer come to our attention because they've noticed something. Many times they may have had a uh, change in their voice, they may have noticed a nodule in their throat, or maybe feel something sticking when they're swallowing. They usually then present to a general practitioner, uh, and it, at that point they have a physical exam. And on the physical exam, usually a mass or nodule might be palpated. On rare occasions, if they already have a nodule, they might even present directly to a surgeon because they can feel that there's something there. At that point, they need to undergo a diagnostic workup, and the primary uh, diagnostic workup is an ultrasound of the neck. And the ultrasound usually evaluates the patient's thyroid area, but also then evaluates the lateral lymph nodes because if there is thyroid possibility of thyroid cancer, they also want to make sure that there aren't any uh, abnormal nodes laterally. And then in addition, actually, after that point, if they are noted, uh, sometimes a fine needle aspirate is done at the time of the, of the ultrasound, where they will actually biopsy the areas that are suspicious. Well, during the initial wor workup for the diagnosis of thyroid cancer, there is not a specific blood test that will help you in determining whether the lesion is uh, malignant or benign. Uh, we always take uh, blood for free T4 and TSH measurements, but the levels of T4 and TSH will not tell you uh, what the diagnosis is. And uh, in terms of thyroglobulin, we also take blood samples for measuring thyroglobulin, which is the most important tumor marker for thyroid cancer but it doesn't help you in uh, making the diagnosis. There's one exception. For medullary thyroid cancer, um, many experts think that measuring serum calcitonin levels will help you in uh, determining the risk for medullary thyroid cancer. The most important uh, test uh, in the diagnosis for thyroid cancer is the fine needle aspiration. So most people present with a, a thyroid nodule and to get an idea about the nature of this nodule, fine needle aspirations can be taken 
to uh, get an idea about the uh, nature of the lesion. Thyroid cancer is a very um, uh, low prevalent uh, uh, disease, uh, whereas uh, people who present with thyroid nodules, uh, well, this uh, occurs frequently. So it's very important to discriminate between people with nodules that might not be uh, uh, malignant and people who present with nodules that may be malignant. And in this, the fine needle aspiration is an important test. Um, then within the uh, group of patients who are uh, suspect of thyroid cancer, it's important to discriminate between low risk and high risk uh, uh, patients. Well, this is very uh, difficult before surgery has taken place because the initial risk stratification will take place after surgery. But we know that in patients with a very rapidly growing thyroid nodule uh, that is very big and who have complaints uh, from their voice or uh, who do have lymph node uh, um, um, nodules, uh, those are the subjects in whom we advise to do more extensive imaging, including CT scans of the neck and uh, the lungs, to exclude metastases. But there is no general rule to um, determine what kind of workup you should do uh, before surgery, except doing ultrasound of the neck.